Hi guys, welcome back to the Cardians YouTube channel. Today we have our first video from our one of our creators, Cavan Booth. He's basically going to be guiding you through a few tips and advice for how to get how to learn magic. How to learn magic. He's basically going to give you a few tips and advice. So it's a really good video. It's, a, it's quite a short one. We're going to be creating some longer ones as the weeks go on. And whilst you guys are watching that, I'm going to be placing some of these onto this shelf over here. So drop a comment in the comment section. Comment section? Let me know which ones I sh you think I should put up. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, give Kavan a follow, a subscribe on his YouTube channel, and let us know what you think in the comments below. Hello and welcome to The Card Inn. My name is Kavan Booth, and if you don't know who I am, I am a professional magician and a video creator right here on YouTube. And I'm very happy to be teaming up with The Card Inn to hopefully create lots of great content for this channel. And you'll be seeing a lot more of me in the future, hopefully. A while ago, The Card Inn contacted me and asked me if we wanted to team up to create some content for YouTube. And after looking at their website, I immediately said yes. So I'm very happy to be part of this project and I can't wait for the exciting things that we're going to be doing in the future. The first cards I ever received from the card in were these. These are the Gemini Casino playing cards, and today I'm going to be doing a very quick review of them, but if you want to see a full review, then make sure to click the link in the description down to the third deal tutorial that I made on my own YouTube channel, where not only can you learn some awesome sleight of hand called the third deal, but you can take a closer look at these cards. Today though, I am just going to open them up and show you what these cards are like, because I think they're amazing. I'm quite critical when it comes to playing cards, but these really impressed me. First of all, you'll notice on the box this gold seal and this sort of gold shine that the whole box has. It is absolutely fantastically produced and there is no inner cellophane which means they're really good for the environment and the cards themselves look pretty standard on the face which is just what you're after in a, uh, a deck of cards like this although the uh, the reds are slightly pinky which is a nice little change, a nice little tweak to the overall cards and on the back they've got this gold shine once again and this little white indentation which again looks really really fantastic and what I learned after making my full review was that the Gemini Casino doesn't actually exist I didn't know that when I made the video, I thought it was a real place especially considering it includes this card which is a map with a dot on it where you would presume the casino is in actual fact that's just an easter egg and the casino doesn't actually exist on top of that the cards handle absolutely phenomenally Phenomenally? Phenomenally? I can't really say that word very well. They handle fantastically is what I'm trying to say and the cards overall are such good quality. So there we go, those are the Gemini Casino playing cards, a very speedy look at them. Again if you want to see a full review go over to my channel where I uh, do a full review of them. The card in actually gave me full reign to talk about whatever I wanted to talk about in this video. I'm actually going to be giving you some tips and advice for magicians, which is hopefully something I'm going to do a few more of on this YouTube channel. And today we're going to start with how to practice magic. Just magic specifically, not how to practice a single trick, but how I like to practice no matter what the trick is. And the first thing I will say is dedicate a specific area to practice. That is my number one piece of advice. Dedicate some time and space to practice in and have some really good focused practice time. The second piece of advice is to actually have some kit that will help you practice. And the kit I would recommend is a three-way mirror. A three-way mirror is essentially a normal mirror with two other bits coming off it so that you have three different angles at the thing that is in front of the mirror. You might see that people like to use them for makeup so they get the different angles of their face or whatever, but it's actually really helpful for a magician to understand what the thing you're practicing looks like from different angles. My next piece of advice would be to not use a close-up pad. Don't use a close-up pad. Now this is a bit of controversial advice. A lot of people will say that a close-up pad is a fantastic way of doing and practicing magic, but actually I think a close-up pad can be quite harmful to your practicing because it means that you get used to having a surface that you're quite comfortable doing magic on. Close-up pads are designed to be comfortable. Now, if you are the sort of magician that only performs at tables and has a close-up pad, by all means, practice with a close-up pad. For me personally, I never ever do that, simply because I never take a close-up pad to a gig. I'm always 
for performing magic standing up, so why would I want a close-up pad? I don't know. In order to be a good performer, you must challenge yourself while practicing. And so taking away a close-up pad and taking away that thing you're very used to will challenge you and make you a better performer overall. So those are just some very, very quick tips on how to practice. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to the card in down below and click the thumbs up button. And you can also share this video with your magician friends to spread the word about this new project. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.